just so you have something to contrast, here are some clips of Oliver in 2012 before Bettina took him for training. Now sit into it. Don't stick your bottom out when he tries to get behind you. There, now flex him right so he stays at the walk. There, there's your passage coming. Now, now stay. Right leg and trot. One, two, three, go. Yeah, right leg. Sit back. Don't pull on the right rein. Sit back. Sit into the right rein. There. That's it. Good. Now spank him. Nobody moves. Nobody moves. Come back to the same spot. Turn right. And that's precisely what I want you to feel. If he grabs at the bit like that, you push up into it and you use your right But put him right to that extreme until he trots the right way. Now, if you back off your seat bones, he's going to grab at that. There, trot. There, that's it. Good girl. Give. Give him his neck now. Give him his neck. Give him his neck. Now straighten him up. No, straighten him up with your back. Yes. Now turn right. Come on. Yes. Turn right. New day is dawn. Sit into that right hind and push it forward. There, that's right, and trot. Flex right till we trot. Now, soften. Let the neck go. Own that right hind. There we go. Beautiful. This is our third clinic with Patina. The one she finally said as I left the arena on the last day, little Oliver needs to get an airplane ticket and come spend some time with Nanny Bettina. I was so relieved that she would help me. Oliver is no longer outright bolting. I have a little bit more control, but you can see from these clips that he is far from a pleasure. Right. If you pull up him, you can get the back to front. Discipline your horse. Discipline his right hind. There, now step it forward. Step forward. Step forward. He's already through you. You've got to win. But react. It has to be. Don't ever do that again. The right mind react back to front, not to the side of you. Don't help him by turning his head. Correct the offending leg for dropping power. Stop there. Don't pick his head up. Don't drop him. Look, look to the right and correct the right mind. This is what I can't figure. Why don't you want to sit on that right mind and correct it? Right now. Sit down on it. Sit down. Sit down on it, put him against the rim. Quickly, efficiently. There's no mystery here. This is just back to front discipline. Now, again. Back to front now, provoke it. Don't let him stick his hand up. There. Now, provoke it. Sit on it. Provoke it, back to front. Don't pick your hands up. See, don't get wild with the front end. Provoke behind it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yep, it's still the same horse. Oliver in his winter coat is almost black, whereas he is a bright bay in summer. So now let's get back to the dressage student's view of lessons. Waist, hamstrings. Good. Left hip punches. Punch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't even a that wasn't even a bitch slap. Forget punching. Now, punch! <laughs> Gyrating is not punching. <laughs> Squeeze! There. Come on. Where's my Ron Ver? Good. To the half pass. Wait! <laughs> so, I guess we know where we're starting tomorrow. Shoot, golly whiz, gee. You know, kind of think of letting your arm relax. Reach around and grab the back of the saddle with your arm relaxed. Come around and grab the front of the saddle with your arm relaxed. And then reach up and pick up your reins. It's so easy to be flippant now with my lessons when I look back at what they used to be like. I love my horse so much. Look at him keep the rhythm, come over his back, and just be cooperative. When I remember what it used to be like, this seems like such an amazing thing. You can see why now I mention Bettina all the time, too, because she rides with me every day. Every day I thank her for having such a pleasurable animal to enjoy. Switch all the reins into your right hand. And then, you know, just kind of make the rounds with your arms, so to speak. The tension in your arms is not necessary to communicate at the other end. So now visit your fingers. Are your fingers able to be independent on the reins? Left. Come back on the right. Good. My God, I think there's actually movement in Brenda's back. It's a miracle. <laughs> Something is broken. So the rider has to activate and allow the step up of the inside hind and then the direction of the outside hind. Body haunches, right? And then you're sitting here in the middle. So we, so we have, we're just going to do the turn of the haunches to keep it big enough. Here's the point around which the horse is going to rotate. This way. Okay? So the hind feet are here. You're here, his front feet are here, his nose is here, okay? You have to stay more forward on your line of your path, okay? Left you're, you're sitting back here when you need to be up and over here, up and over here, up and over here. <laughs> Left, right, 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 left. That's what I'm doing. I was doing my legs opposite. Like I started out okay, and then I... And then you lost it. Get drawn into his front feet. You're picking up the rhythm of the front feet. You're not staying on the hind feet. So it's left. Stepping the inside hind as close to this column as possible and do the same on the, on the hula hoop. So, put his right hind close to the cone. Now you lost your rhythm. Right hind closer to the cone. Right hind close, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay, 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 stay. Stay on the pirouette. Now, put yourself ahead of his shoulders. So you're, you're not riding your line. Now, find the rhythm behind again. Where's your, there you go, good. Counter torque on the outside. Good, keep walking. Right and left. Right, left, 
right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So now stop. Look where the cone is. Continuous Did circle. Did we get like extra point credits for it being No. Flat? Go down and do it around that one to the right. <laughs> like, oh hell no. I'm not doing no sparkly hoop. Turn your back more at the center. No, that's turning your front at the center. Without twisting your shoulders. Keep, keep walking. You must walk. It is not, it's not a static thing. Turn your back at the hoop. Turn your back at the center. Good. Turn your back at the center. Good. Keep going. Turn your back at the center. Good. Keep going. Turn your back at the center. Good. Keep going. Good. Turn your back at the center. Good. Turn your back at the center. Good. Turn your back at the center. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Now can you make it smaller? Think in Vecklum. Good. Now, I'm holding his tail and you're going to see in the video, so don't overthink this. Now his tail's at a 90 degree angle to his body. Now his tail's at a 90 degree angle to his body. His tail should be straight out behind him. If you kept it the center. <laughs> he said, hell no, give me my tail back. Good, so you're going to see what happens when the hind end steps wide. Now, why is he not bent to the right? I'm sorry, dude. I'll give you your tail in a second. Good. 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 Now, line your back up with me. Your back's pointing over in the corner. There you go. Sorry. Back him on to me. <laughs> that was her <laughs> Yeah, right. Like, let, me, let me fart in Lisa's face. That's what I think of her. So, now go walk up to the cone and start over. Turn your back at the cone so that you are. No, you don't even know where it is. Turn your head. No, turn your head to the right. It's right bend. There you go. <laughs> Good. Wow, you're doing a patina tone with me. <laughs> it is right bend. So his inside hind are supposed to be those four cones. So take a walk. Come back on the straight line. Turn. Look. You're not even. Hello, McFly. Lines over here. Okay. So the stupid cones are in some mysterious time-space warp different than the parallel universe I am currently inhabiting, along with, I am sure, a random number of pillars, cones, lines, and circles. And I can hear my brain sizzling. Okay, stop. If the shoulders are turning too fast and the hindquarter is stepping wide, you would pull your back more at the pillar to keep the hindquarter more aligned to the back of the pillar. Forward, right, forward, stay left, right, forward, right, forward, right, forward, good, excellent, and pet him. Here we go. Here's what it is. Excellent. The joys of orientating to a point. Come on. Look at the banner. Oh my god. Oh, please, thank you. That was.
<laughs> In spite of all my smart assery, I take this very, very seriously. I've put a lot of time and effort into riding with lightness in the French tradition, as is taught by my teachers. Without mentors, teachers, and very patient animals, we can never achieve our goals. So it's never just the effort of one, it's always the effort of many that makes us grow personally and be able to have these wonderful experiences. I just want to thank my teachers and my animals, my friends who are also my teachers, so much. So thanks Lisa, and thanks Bettina, <laughs> by extension, who's <laughs> helped me so much. Can I have a bigger circle? No. This is to my bestie Oliver, my friend and my teacher. Thanks to Bettina's fine training. We have come a long way from Oliver slamming me against the wall. And Oliver, my right knee thanks you. Experience. I urge you to please respect my copyright. 